Candace Cameron Bure. You guys might recognize her from Full House. I know, it's depressing. We all liked that show as kids, or at least me. Maybe I'm old. Oh my god, I'm old. She's now a part of a TV network they call The Great American Family. She's an executive. And apparently there will be no representation of anything gay at all, because that's a sin, on their network of many, many Christmas movies or whatever. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have this long-standing tradition of drinking excessively and watching the worst Christmas movie of the year. I've done ones from Kirk Cameron, God's Not Dead, all the things, uh, but around Christmas time I like to do a Christmas themed cringe movie. Uh, you know, and maybe Candace Cameron Bure is uh, the next candidate, so if you have a recommendation of a movie I should drink excessively to and, and watch and torture myself over, feel free to leave it in the comments. But in response to people obviously taking issue with her being homophobic and exclusionary, she responded with a blanket statement of saying, well, you know what? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> After the internet and fellow celebrities roasted her chestnuts hmm, over an open fire, former Hallmark Channel staple Candace Cameron Bure addressed the fallout over her controversial comments about her new network. Great American family. Anytime you hear family in something, it's normally like terribly right wing and Christian, like focus on the family. They just exclude everyone who's different, but that's fine. Producing holiday content that will favor traditional marriage over featuring LGBTQ love stories. I've heard people make the argument like, why do you need to include basically any diversity in, in movies? Uh, why do you feel the need to force it so much? And my response to that is, it's not being forced. It's something that occurs naturally in our culture. So to purposely exclude it, that's the weird thing. So do I think people are going out of their way to force inclusion? No, uh, but I do think it's the opposite. Like people are really going out of their way to exclude certain things because it makes them personally uncomfortable and that's their problem. But whatever, this is her network. This is her conservative, <laughs> whatever network, whatever you want to call it, focus on the family, family, holiday, network, channel, family, fun, for families, Christian families, Republican families, I don't care, family, 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 family channel. They choose to do this, and I guess if it's their network, they can have whatever prerogative they want. Uh, there are quite a few LGBT friendly networks and even movies that are very inclusive. There are several different movies that feature LGBTQIA love stories, and I just wanna take a moment to promote those because no one needs to feel sad. Holidays are already a hard enough time for people. I mean, just don't be a dick, right? <laughs> Try. Try your artist. It's sometimes difficult, especially for people like her. And what was her response to this backlash? Well, she said, All of you who know me know beyond question that I have great love and affection for all people. She goes on and on and on to say like, Oh, love, 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 I love, I have love. I'm including different ethnicities, therefore I have love. Like, it's really a nothing answer. She completely avoids that she's being homophobic. There's no admission of this. There's no direct response to this. It's just, well, I love everyone, but it really, it certainly seems like uh, you don't. But that's what she said. So you know what? Words over actions, right? That's what they say. Words matter more than actions. That's the famous saying. I think it goes like that, right? The God we serve is a wildly creative and loving God. He didn't just capture a small part of my heart. He has captured all of my heart. Huh. Actress Candace Cameron Bure is speaking out on the firestorm over her words wanting to keep traditional marriage at the core of her network's holiday movies. I cannot wait to see what she's going to say. I'm sure it's something amazingly profound and completely justifies her, right? Our words matter. In a lengthy statement this afternoon, Candace didn't explain why Great American Family won't feature same-sex couples. She didn't explain anything. Wow, shocking. But said, quote, I am called to love all people, and I do. That, like I said, is a complete nothing answer. Like, if you're called to love all people, then why are you excluding certain groups of people if you love all of them? Does not equate. Hollywood is already taking sides. One Tree Hill and Hallmark star Hillary Burton called Candace a bigot. Jojo Siwa, who famously called Candace the rudest celebrity she ever met, said it's rude and hurtful to a whole community of people. Let me just say, I do love Jojo Siwa. Like she is such an innocent figure online, but she's still willing to push the boundaries and be outspoken for a community that she's a part of, but nonetheless is a risk that she's taking. As a person in entertainment, it's not always easy to stand up for something that is pushing against other people's beliefs, but she's out there doing it and I, I fully, fully respect her for that. Candace's Fuller House co-star Jodi Sweeten weighed in commenting on JoJo's post. 
you know I love you. Jody took it a step further and seemed to shade Candace, urging support on Instagram for the Respect for Marriage Act, which would protect same-sex unions. I hate that her supporting an act is shade towards someone else. You know, honestly, as someone who has been on the internet, I know that when you are even very mildly associated with somebody else who makes poor choices, those poor choices are put onto you. So she probably was facing some backlash for this, for these comments that were made. And uh, you know, I don't think it's necessarily intended to be shade towards Candace, but it's more of just like establishing that, hey, yes, I worked with this person. Yes, I had a relationship with this person, but I do not hold the same beliefs. And I think that's totally valid. But let's take a second to talk about the Respect for Marriage Act, also known as a same-sex marriage bill. This is so amazing because it would enshrine marriage equality into federal law. That people be considered married in any state as long as a state that it was performed in was valid. But there is still a lot of work that needs to be done to ensure that LGBTQ Americans can participate freely and safely in the economy. This is about protecting the rights of groups in case constitutional protections are rolled back by the current conservative Supreme Court, which has six justices appointed by Republican presidents versus only three from Democrats. This bill would also repeal the 1996 Defense of Marriage Act, which defined marriage as the union of one man and one woman, and allowed states to decline to recognize same-sex marriages performed in other states. And digging deeper if we want to get into the specifics, this act does not authorize the federal government to recognize polyamorous marriages. Sorry, not sorry for the PSA, but I think marriage equality still needs to be very much talked about. If there needs to be even something called the Respect for Marriage Act and other states are pushing back, it's definitely something that needs more awareness brought to it. Urging support on Instagram for the Respect for Marriage Act. And good on her for urging support because I stand by you. Candace's daughter, however, she's standing by her. Have you even seen all my Christmas movies? I've seen a majority of them. Natasha Bray wrote her favorite thing about her mom is, quote, how much she loves Jesus and how firm in her faith she stands. I just really get so annoyed by this narrative that, oh, it's people, they're so loving. And, and even her response to all this backlash was just like, well, I love everyone so much, but it's like you're being public about your intent to be exclusionary, therefore causing an even bigger controversy. And your response to all of it is, well, I just love everyone so much. And I just, I have to call bullshit on that. I just, I get so frustrated, like looking at her, her daughter, like all of them, she just loves Jesus so much as though that is a redeeming quality that automatically gives her the little check mark of being a good person when you're actively causing harm to people. Hot take, if you have your own TV network and you don't personally feel like broadcasting LGBT because you're homophobic, I don't like it. Just go ahead and do that and keep it to yourself by going out of your way to say, we're not gonna have this type of person in our movies. You're making a statement. This is an intentional thing. This is not backlash off of a personal choice you're making. You are actually standing up and making a political statement, a broad stroke exclusion, calling out a very specific group of people. And that obviously is going to get a lot of backlash. But here she is saying, you know, I know I'm getting a lot of backlash, but my official response to that is just how much I love everyone. Girl, please. Now here's some of what people are commenting. Can people have their beliefs without being canceled? Sure. They can, but if you're going to get on a public platform and state these beliefs, you have got to be prepared for the public's reaction to those statements. I'm not banging down your door and harassing you to hear what your thoughts are so that I can publicly shame you and criticize you. You're blasting it out with your large following. You've got to expect some sort of response. I'm so proud of her for standing firm in faith. I love her and share traditional views. At what point do we get to take traditional back? Why does it belong to the Christian conservatives? I just, that really bothers me. She has every right to express her beliefs. Nothing wrong with that. No one said that she wasn't allowed or that she didn't have every right to express her beliefs. Here's the thing. It's not a violation of people's freedom of speech to then get backlash to the speech that they put out into the world, especially if you have a large enough platform. That's just kind of what happens. I keep seeing people get pissed off saying freedom of speech and I, she has her right to say what she wants. Yeah, you've got freedom to be a bigot and I have freedom to call you out for it. Freedom of speech, right? Calling her out is ridiculous. 
It implies that she is promoting something bad, which she is not. I'd like to say that is very subjective, in my opinion, and probably the opinion of many others. It is bad to say what she's saying. She's quite clear about her beliefs and isn't promoting hate. Agree to disagree. How about we start calling out pedophiles who want to be called minor attracted like that's okay? Oh God, we're really gonna, we're really gonna do this. We're gonna have this pedophiles versus LGBT argument. I'm not doing the slippery slope today. I can't, I can't. Not today, Santa Satan, not today. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna have to stop. Uh, you know, just don't be, just don't be gay on Christmas and you'll be fine. What's sad is I was literally just thinking about the whole Starbucks cup controversy. And I was thinking that's, there's nothing even similar to that going on today. There aren't still people who are like uber Christian, in the media with a notable following causing a problem, right? And I was wrong. Of course I was wrong. It's the internet. <laughs> what do you think? Have I been living under a rock? Yes, I have somewhat, but it doesn't take long to figure out that there's just a lot of crap still floating around out there and I did not have to search long to find it. So I hope all of you have a very merry gay Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay, right? <laughs> but not too gay because hell. All right, with that, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment below, share it everywhere, follow me on all of my socials, and also make sure to check out the vlog channel, youtube.com slash Jacqueline Vlogs, or just search Frank Family Vlogs. I post a lot of really fun family content that's apparently not traditional at all. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.